Hello, I'm Kurt Chalberg with Tapar USA. We're centrally located here in the States in Minneapolis, and uh, we deal directly with our sheet producer customers here in the US from that location. Uh, today, I wanted to go over the Racewell JR series. Uh, this is our entry level sheep handler, our sheep shoot system, whatever you want to call it, uh, that is designed uh, to take the work out of sheep work, uh, both at, a, at an entry level price point, uh, as well as, as level of complexity of the system. So the JR sheep handler is designed as an entry level handler, which means that it can be a very, very simple piece of equipment with just simple catch and release functionality to help producers handle uh, the sheep. Or we can add a whole range of uh, features and accessories from scales to EID readers, side tilt, sorting gates, you know, whatever the producer needs for his particular application. So the beauty of the Racewell JR system is that it can be as simple or as complex with the full range of options for, for a producer of any size. All right, so we'll start here at the back of the shoot or the entry side of the shoot to the machine. So this is what we call the, the lead up shoot uh, into the handler. Um, on the JR series, uh, the, the wall width is fixed. Um, on our automatic series, the HD3, HD4, HD6, uh, the walls are uh, adjustable width. However, this is a nice generous wall width. So even your bigger U's and RAMs are still gonna get through, even, even uh, horned animals uh, are gonna have an easy time through here. Um, the catch button, we've got a second catch button here. I, technically this could be your first catch button, but this is a, a very nice feature for if you're working the sheep or the goats by yourself and uh, pushing the animals up, this gives you the opportunity to catch the animals as they enter uh, the chute behind me there uh, without having to be right there at the, at the dashboard. So you can still be pushing animals up, uh, getting the animal in the, in the lead up chute following the one that's been caught, uh, giving you two animals right there to work with uh, before you carry on. So that's a uh, nice feature there to have that at the back of the machine. So moving forward through the handler, uh, we've got the entry gate, which is kind of this, the next section here from the lead up chute. Uh, the entry gate is, is going to be your means of cutting off the next animal to prevent kind of a pile up here in our clamp section. Um, you'll note here that we can have a, we can remove this panel here uh, to help flow, especially on the first time of running animals through here, getting them familiar with the system. Obviously we know the sheep want to follow the leader, so to speak, um, so pulling this out helps them see ahead. However, as animals become more familiar with it, and uh, especially when you have some energetic lambs or some goats coming through, you may want to put that back in there to sort of regulate the flow a bit. Um, so the way the, uh, the way the door is typically most effective is when it's tied in with the catch operation of the handler. So as we hit catch, our entry gate closes at the, at the exact same time to prevent the next animal from coming in, which oftentimes they're following each other quite closely. And uh, it's important to have that cut off uh, very quickly there. So that's a very effective way to prevent the next one from coming in. So the animal is caught here in the clamp section. We've obviously got full access to the top of the animal, the back of the animal, the hind legs, the feet um, at the front. If we've caught them well, if we caught them centered in the machine, we should have access to the front feet, the head, tagging, whatever else we need to do there. Once we're done uh, treating the animal or, or weighing it, whatever we're doing here, uh, we simply hit the release button and off it goes. An important point to, uh, to point up about the JR is that uh, we've removed all electronic circuitry from the system. So every function that you've seen here so far and everything that we'll demonstrate on this machine is strictly pneumatic. So there's no electronic circuitry, just keeps everything real simple, even the push buttons are all um, pneumatically operated uh, push buttons. So um, that's how we're able to make it such a economical uh, handler or shoot is just there's uh, very little circuitry, very little complex electronics, uh, keeps, things, keeps things nice and simple. All right, to demonstrate the side tilt functionality of the handler, which is an optional feature, this isn't uh, a, a standard feature for the base model, um, but it is a very handy uh, option to Basically take the weight off the feet of the animal, lay it over on its side, make it more accessible, especially for things like tagging or crutching, cleaning up the backsides, gives you better access to the hind feet. Um, and also some of our customers use this for preg checking. So it's kind of a, uh, a multi-use function. Um, so after we've caught the animal, 
We can then use the foot pedal located just underneath the entry gate section here. And we lay the animal over on its side. So it brings it right to a very nice uh, kind of a waist height level here to, to work on the back side of the sheep. Uh, this little flap that you see here is kind of a visual barrier uh, for the, as they move through the machine, but it also acts as a uh, bum rest for the back of the animal too if you want to catch them a little further back for your tagging or crutching operations. Um, and once we've wrapped up here, we use the same foot pedal to bring the animal gently back down onto its feet and uh, send it on its way. Uh, we've got uh, some little uh, Oh, supports here at the, at the base of the machine to uh, give you some extra stability when you're when you're lifting some really heavy ewes or rams. Uh, just gives the machine a little extra stability when we're not on a on a surface here that we can anchor the machine down to. All right. Well, one feature I thought it'd be good to spend a minute on is the adjustability of the clamping wall width, which is very important for producers with a mixed flock size, whether it's lambing season or uh, bringing in a new lot of sheep, where you've got a variety of body widths. Um, and sizes. So uh, this adjustability is standard on all of the race well handlers. And um, uh, how it works, we've got a we've got a channel front and back here with with holes punched in it. Uh, six different holes. So we've got six different widths, front and back. Whether you move the wall out uh, equally or you tow the front end, um, gives you a, gives you a wide range of options here. So basically, we just grab a spring loaded uh, pin here, pull it out. We can pull the wall out. Pull it out in the back and then we just reset the width wherever we, wherever we want it to be. There is a kind of a middle setting there that's a good uh, average width. Um, however, if you are running larger ewes and little lambs through together, you can kick the back out, toe in the front and uh, catch those little guys up front and still have enough width on the back to catch those bigger ewes, especially when they got a lot of wool on them. Um, or we can move the whole wall out if we're just running big ewes through here for their uh, for their shots or running a couple of big rams through here, we can kick that wall all the way out and have a nice wide wall um, and uh, wide enough too for a lot of the horned uh, breeds too. So it just gives you a lot of flexibility on the width of your clamping space. Okay, so we've gone through the JR from front to back or back to front, however you want to look at it as the animal comes through. Uh, we've gone through the lead up chute, the entry gate section and the clamping section. Uh, once they've been clamped, uh, the, this particular machine that we have here has the sorting gates on it. The sorting gates can be left off just to keep it very basic. Uh, the sorting gate module is an optional item. And uh, with a JR, we've got the ability to do three-way uh, pneumatically operated sorting uh, off the front of the machine. So uh, we've got two uh, access gates here for the front of the animal, just a, just a free swinging gate. Uh, uh, in theory, you could use this for a, a fourth and fifth gate if you'd like for sorting. Uh, but this gives you good access to the uh, the hooves of the animal um, as it's standing there or, or, or you know whatever you might need it there sometimes when you're doing drenching the animal will be caught for their down so it'll give you better access to the uh, to the head of the animal or for ear tagging as well um, so once we've treated the animal inspected it whatever we're going to do uh, we can then uh, use the red switch here on the dashboard to uh, sort the animal off um, obviously we can go uh, left straight ahead and then right to give you your three sorting pens uh, depending on the criteria you're using whether it's the weight of the animal breeding group sex of the animal whatever it may be um, an important point to stress on that is that uh, the sorting is not automatic um, so it's not going to automatically set the gates uh, for your criteria so unlike our automatic models the hd3 hd4 hd6 um, this does require you to jump in and manually sort those animals uh, based on what you're seeing uh, or what your criteria is. One important uh, thing to point up about the race well equipment is that there is uh, a range of portability options for producers that have uh, either the need to move the equipment around in a barn where perhaps you convert it to lambing at certain periods of the year, or maybe you've got several different locations where you're working the sheep. Um, there is uh, portability options for the machines um, to give you that flexibility. So. We can either put the, uh, the race well on a complete trailer system uh, with suspension. It can be towed down the highway. It's got a fold down working platform. Uh, everything you need to take it from one location to another very quickly and easily. Uh, basically, the handler itself just bolts right to the trailer and would stay with the trailer. So you get to your location and uh, the stub axles are popped off. The trailer is lowered down and you're ready to go in just a matter of minutes. Um, you bring it back to the farm, set it down where it needs to be. Again, pull those wheels off and you're up and going again. So 
um, it just saves a lot of hassle if you ever do need to move the move the handle even if it's just a couple of times a year um, there is another option too for uh, again those situations where maybe it's just rearranging the barn once or twice a year and you don't want to do the investment into a whole complete trailer system uh, we call it our skid frame option and basically it's that heavy duty trailer frame uh, but all the hydraulics the the wheels the platform everything is stripped off of it and we just have some fork slots built into it so as long as you have a machine with forks uh, you've got that same uh, flexibility to move the handler at any given time uh, whether it's putting it on a flatbed and hauling it to another location or whether it's simply forking it moving it around your barn um, it gives you that uh, that range of, of uh, location options as, as well so um, certainly doesn't have to be fixed in place here as you see it it certainly can be a very portable setup depending on your needs as a producer all right well we've been through the race ball sheep handler front to back uh, hope it uh, hope it all makes sense to you the the flow of the machine and I think uh, it should be very uh, apparent um, how this could help your your operation and I suppose uh, at this point um, the question would be is this a good machine for you and I think uh, the most important thing to uh, think about the the race wall really the whole line of equipment but I suppose the JR uh, to start with as you as you look at um, getting into handling equipment like this is this is really designed for um, operations where it could be one person that's 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 handling the sheep and um, uh, perhaps you're getting older and the physical uh, the physical demands of, of sheep handling is is becoming more and more and uh, this as you can see as we walk through the different points um, this virtually eliminates the physical handling of the sheep um, so once you've uh, pretty much the only physical interaction with the sheep is moving them into the handler uh, beyond that, it's uh, the handlers taking that, that manhandling uh, out of the equation and uh, allowing you to just focus on you know, the tagging, the inspections, the treatments, whatever you're doing, rather than trying to physically restrain that sheep uh, on top of everything else you're doing. Um, unlike a lot of other uh, more basic manual operations out there, uh, with everything pneumatically operated, um, there's no uh, you know, manhandling the machine, there's no platforms to jump on to catch the machine. Um, it's all, uh, all the, 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 the pneumatic system is essentially uh, taking that, uh, that manual element out of it. So even though we call it a, a manual sheep handler, it's still very much uh, a powered operation and taking that uh, physical uh, need uh, away from you and allowing you to focus on the care and the handling of the sheep. <music>